Welcome to the Good News Daily for Kids. I'm Priscilla Good News and I'm with Troy. I'm with Troy there. Wow, we are having so much fun, right Troy? Yeah, and our car on the farm. Wow, absolutely amazing. We are having so much fun. Yeah, we are having so much fun in our car. Wow, absolutely amazing. What we love about being on adventures is that we can read the Good News Daily. We can read the Good News Daily on any adventure that we're on. I'd like to honor my father, His Excellency Ambassador Hubert Angel. Thank you so much, Prophet, for this amazing opportunity. We love you. Oh, yes, absolutely. Let's see what the Good News Daily says today. Our Good News Daily today says, Extraordinary Strategist. Extraordinary Strategist. Wow. Our Bible reading comes from Matthew 14, verse 36. They begged Jesus to let him just touch the edge of his coat to be healed. And all the sick people who touched it were healed. The human mind is brilliant with amazing abilities that very few people are making use of it. There are those who are very good at planning and making decisions, especially in difficult situations, right? Yeah. Absolutely. The Lord Jesus Christ was the greatest of all, being an extraordinary strategist. Extraordinary strategist. Wow. Earlier in chapter 14, Jesus sent the crowds of people away so that he could go onto the mountain to pray. He remained there alone until the evening. Verse 23. Later we find him healing sick and there were many, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Jesus was constantly filling his prayer bank, which is why he was able to perform such miracles. He knew the secrets of prayer banks and led them by example. Wow, prayer banks. Ha. Wow, absolutely amazing. Kids, you too can do great exploits, right Troy? Yeah, I can do great exploits. Absolutely. In this year of milk and honey, you can do great exploits. Greater works than these shall you do. So do not wait any longer. Start filling your prayer bank today. Ha! Ah, I start filling my prayer bank today. Pray, pray, pray. Wow, absolutely amazing. Pray. Wow, the extraordinary strategist. Now it's time for a prophetic declaration. And Bao will join us for the prophetic declaration, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Bao is here. Hello, I'm Bao. Wow, hello Bao. Good news to you. Good news to you. Wow, what did you learn today? Ah, uh, I learned about the extraordinary strategist. That Jesus is the extraordinary strategist. Wow, absolutely. And greater works than he did, I can do. Wow, absolutely amazing. Well, let's say the prophetic declaration together. Jesus is the extraordinary strategist and I have the mind of Christ. I understand the prayer bank secret and I am doing exploits. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow, absolutely amazing. Our further study comes from Matthew 14, 23, 34 to 36. Wow! Absolutely amazing. Well, we are not out of good news, right? Never! We are just out of time. We are just out of time. Until next time, we say ta-ta! Good news to you kids and guess what we're back again with another story time my name is Titsi and I'll be reading you guys today's amazing bible story but before I go any further I would like to honor our prophet his excellency ambassador angel the CIC and the founder of spirit embassy thank you so much sir for this opportunity so guys like I said this week's bible story is going to be an awesome bible story we're going to be reading about how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead this Bible story can be found in the book of John chapter 11. So let's get straight into it. The title is Lazarus Lives. Jesus received a message from Martha and Mary. 
telling him that their brother Lazarus was very ill. By the time Jesus arrived at the sister's house, Lazarus was dead. Martha wept saying, Oh Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Then Jesus said gently, He will rise again. Everyone who believes in me will live again, even though he has died. But when Mary came up weeping and he saw the other relatives crying, then Jesus wept too and asked to be taken to the cave where Lazarus had been laid. He told the men to open it. Now Lazarus had been dead for four days, but Jesus prayed and gave thanks to God then said loudly, Lazarus, come out! Everyone watched in silent wonder as a figure emerged from the dark cave, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. It was Lazarus! He was alive! Wow, was anybody amazed at that story like I was? This story was awesome. It definitely shows us that death has no power over us and death is definitely not the end for us who believe in Jesus because he came and he's the one that conquered death. Okay guys, this is the end of this week's Bible story but I hope you enjoyed and this doesn't mean that we're out of Bible stories. It just means that we're out of time. So I hope to see you all next week for another story time. I'd like to honor my prophet, Prophet Hubert Angel. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. Ah, I'm Professor Flob. Glory be to God. Amen. Oh, yes. So, Jed, ah, what's the experiment for today, Jed? We want to show you how a situation can change when you have Christ. Wow. Christ in me, the hope of glory, right? Yes. Wow. Okay, so what do you have on the table, Jed? A balloon and some lemon. Wow, a balloon and a lemon, right? Yes. So the balloon represents a situation, right? Yes, it does. And when you have Christ in you, every situation that's not good just goes away, right? Yes. The lemon represents a person person who has Christ. Yes. All right. Then show us, Jed, what happens when a person has Christ. When a person has Christ, every situation they have goes away. So we use the lemon pill. Okay, Jed. And squeeze, right? Yes. Smaller. It's becoming smaller. Whoa! It's becoming so small. Look how the balloon has shrunk. Wow! The situation has become so small and has no power, right? Yes. Wow! When you have Christ in you, that big situation goes away. It goes away completely. Wow. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Well, that's it for today, right, Jed? That's it for today. We're not out of good news. We're not out of good news. We're just out of time. Bye. Good news to you. My name is Tanashi. But before I go any further, 
at the honor degrees for ICM2, Traveling Team Ambassador, SIC, the Ra, Prophet Jesus Angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. And also want to acknowledge my beautiful mom, mm. the president, the prayer machine, yeah. prophetess, BB Angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you can you see all? My name is Al Nathan and I'm the evangelist leader for for the Millionaires Branch Kidney Swell Kids here in the UK. Before I continue, please allow me to honor and acknowledge my vision Ivy, yes. the CIC Commander in Chief, the leader and highly esteemed Prophet of Jesus Art Dispensation oh, yeah. of Christianity and founder of Spirit Embassy, mm -hmm. the Sampers to Christ. Yeah. My life coach, the one that I salute to, Prophet Yube Angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would also like to acknowledge the Baroness Bulldozer, the Baroness Bulldozer, the Prayer Machine, the President of the Guinness World and Guinness Nation, Prophetess BB Angel. Yeah. So today we have our brother Dawn. You are, so, you are certain influenced us and the kids today. Please introduce yourself. Uh, good news to you, everybody. Good news to you, my generational captains. Um, I'd like to take this time to honor the grace of Ponder House, my father, the CIC, Prophet Yuba Angel, and our president, Prophetess Beverly Angel. Clap your hands, somebody. Make some noise. Amen, amen, amen. So my name is Brother Dawn. I am from the Millionaires Branch, the London Branch in the UK, the best branch in the world. Make some noise. Come Amen. on, come on. Okay. And yeah, um, I'm a part of Rebels for Christ. I'm a youth in the ministry and I also serve in the protocol department as well as doing Amazing. some drama and poetry as well as part of the youth. And yeah. Amen. What motivates you daily? I'd say for me, what motivates me daily is most definitely um, our CIC, Prophet Yuba Angel. You know, he is a big inspiration to Amazing. not only me, but to all of us. And like he says, Man. you know, that is, like Prophet always says, he is our starting point. We should be looking to do greater than what he has already done. So that always motivates me to say that if Hallelujah. that's where Prophet is Amazing. and we need to do better than him, then wow. I need to be constantly improving and constantly getting better so that I can achieve those heights that are needed to achieve where the ministry is concerned and influence in society. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. How do you begin and end your day? Okay, so for me, I most definitely begin my day with the good news daily. You know, as, as our mom, Prophetess Beverly wow. Angel, um, taught us at the Youth and Young Adult Seminar, she taught us, you know, start your day with the good news daily. Don't pick up your phone. Don't go on Instagram, TikTok. No, start your day with the good news daily. Get that prophetic messenger that you need to start your day. And that's very paramount. And I always finish my day um, just speaking in tongues. Just before I go to sleep, I'll just speaking in tongues before I drift off into bed. So that's how I begin and that's how I end my day. Amazing. Wow. Would you care to share to us, a children's ministry, how your journey led to Christ? So, you know, my, my journey that led me to Christ was um, definitely is, was being in the world, you know, seeing everything that, everything that the world had to offer and realizing that there was nothing that the world could offer me and everything that I needed, the void that I needed to be filled was a Jesus-sized um, si void in my heart that, that needed to be filled. Yeah. And Amazing. whatever I tried to fill that with, it never worked. So um, yeah. there's a scripture in the Bible that says, I've seen everything, I've tried everything and all else is vanity. And I realized that everything is vanity and Christ is what is was what was missing from my life. And that is what makes me complete and makes me full. And that is my journey that led me to give my life to Christ. Wow. Amazing. Brilliant. What do you aspire to be? What do I aspire to be? Wow. That's a very good question, El Nathan. Thank you. Um, another another s topic that mom touched on at the youth and young adults um, seminar that we had not too long ago. Um, one thing that she said was success is when you are fully aligned with the will of God, the word of God, Amazing. and who God has called you to be. So yeah. for me, I just aspire to be fully aligned with the word Amen. and who God has called me to be. Standing thank standing. you. Thank you. Wow. Now, 
can you share us one advice yeah. that you can give to us as young children? There's so much advice I could give you, but if there's one advice, I'd say stay in the word, um, stay in the word, stay in the word, stay in the word. That's the best advice I can give you. The word works, as our, our man of God always says, cheer up, the word works. You know, he always tells us to put the word to work. So one thing I can tell you to be is pragmatic with your Christianity. And that just basically means don't just read the Bible, but actually live the Bible, put it to work. And just, yeah, that's the best advice I can give you directly from our man of God, Prophet Uber Angel. Well, I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much. We are the sons of mages. All of us are the sons of mages. Amen. And remember, we're not out of good news, we're just out of time. Amen. Stay Amen. tuned for our next interview. Bye! Matthew 5 verse 13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth. Colossians 4 6 says, Let your words be favoured with salt. Therefore, we should add flavour to other people's lives to impact them for the better. What is prayer? Prayer is the bedrock of Christianity. Prayer is our lifestyle. We have been taught that when we pray, we are sending signals to angels to carry out their assignment. But when we are distracted, we are distracting the signal that is being sent. Our man of God has taught us that man ought always to pray and not to faint. This means that you should continue to pray and never to stop. It's for example, when you see a dog barking, it's actually communicating. The same as a sheep. A sheep is actually communicating. Because we have to be in that cell realm to understand the sheep. The same with God. God speaks spirit. So we have to be in that spiritual realm to understand God. Thank you. Love you guys lots. Remember that man ought always to pray, not to faint. <laughs>